Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. So here we have the two 150-600 uh, super telephoto lenses that I've been looking at and reviewing. So we've looked at autofocus performance, check those videos out. I've also done a recent one on the Canon 100-400 Mark II L lens. Check that out. I, I, basically I said the, the focus was a bit slow and um, I've got some examples to prove that. So have a look at that video if you want to look at the reasons why I thought that lens was a bit slow. Anyway, um, we've got the Sigma Contemporary 150 to 600 here, and we've got the Tamron G2 lens. Um, you might be wondering why I decided not to get the Sport in for testing as well. I've done a review on that lens as well as the Sigma Contemporary some years ago, as well as the Tamron G1 lens, the earlier version of this. So if you want to check those out, it'd be a good idea to watch some of those older videos I did and um, you know there, there's some good comments in them videos and it'll give you a good idea of what where I'm coming from but what I found in those older videos is the Sigma Contemporary and Sigma Sport were very close in optical performance um, I think the Sport was a slightly tiny bit sharp, sharper at 600 millimeters but if you come back to 500 and 500 millimeters or 550 millimeters the, the, the Sport and the Contemporary are pretty much identical in terms of optical performance in regards to giving you sharp images. So we've obviously got the new cam camera on the G2 lens here and I've been testing autofocus performance and it did appear to me that the Sigma Contemporary was faster than the G2 um, Tamron lens. We've yet to check image quality so that those videos are coming so bear with me with those at the moment we're looking at autofocus perform performance between these two lenses because ultimately I'm deciding which one to keep and which one to send back um, so ultimately these are good lenses and they will certainly do what you they want what you want them to do but I'm looking at firmware updates so obviously we've got the Sigma dock here the UD01 Sigma dock it's a USB device you can connect to your uh, lens and update the firmware and update um, other options. Now you've got the, the Tamron tapping console here, same sort of thing. It's just called, it's just a, a different name. That comes with a five year warranty and the Sigma one comes with a three year warranty. So it does seem to me that in general Tamron are offering longer warranties. Um, so you can customise autofocus, limiter and the stabiliser and you can modify it and change the settings and play with it a little bit and make, make your lens a bit better than it was. Um, but I do think the Sigma lens has a Tamron beat there in customisation because it has a custom switch and it, there is a, a C1 and a C2 um, selection you can dial in some settings into that lens and it may be more customizable than the Tamron lens because of that. Um, I'll give you an example. Let's say, because they all have limiters on them. So look at the Tamron limiter that we've got here, which is 10 meters to infinity, uh, 10 meters to 2.2 meters, right? That's 2.2 meters to 10 meters, I mean, uh, and then full. Now on the Sigma we've got 2.8 meters to 10 meters, then we've got 10 meters to infinity, and we've got full. But what you could do as an additional step in regards to the limiter is you could set up um, a setting in the custom section um, switch, and you could have say 20 meters to infinity if you wanted to photograph birds that were f f some distance away, um, and acquire a lot quicker focus. So that's an additional thing you can do on the Sigma lens that you can't do on the Tamron lens. So that, that might be something to consider. But I think in general practice I think you'll find that 10 meters to infinity should be good enough for most circumstances and for most people. Um, so ultimately the main thing we've got these USB devices for is to see if we can improve autofocus performance. Because what I'm finding is the Sigma lens is a little bit faster than the Tamron in terms of autofocus. We've not addressed image quality. We'll address that in future videos. So keep tuned for me uploading more video, more content 
on the image sharpness on these lenses. So obviously we can update the firmware using the software that you can download from Sigma and from Tamron. So I want to find out if adding firmware updates to these lenses improves anything. It's very possible a firmware update on the Tamron could make it a better lens than the Sigma. You know, and there is, there is a from past experience because I did own this lens previously. Uh, I've got this in to do some testing. You see, um, from previous experience, there is a firmware update for this lens at present, um, and you can update this lens. And no doubt, with the more new mirrorless cameras coming out, more updates will be coming to make this compatible with the mirrorless system in in a better way. The same being true of the Tamron. Um, so without a further ado, what I want to do is I want to unbox these uh, USB devices so you can see what's in the box. Um, but ultimately, I'm trying to find out which is the better lens. Um, is the Contemporary better than the G2? Now we, we already know that the G2 is slightly better build than the, Tam the, than the Sigma lens. Mainly because it's got um, a little bit of extra weather sealing in that lens and the, the Contemporary has a little bit near the mount but not much further down the lens. So <clears throat> some people have said oh this is the equivalent to Sport. I wouldn't say it's quite as well built as the Sport Sigma lens either. If I was to tell you in terms of build quality where they sit I would say the Contemporary is over here, um, you have the Tamron in the middle and you have the Sport Sigma lens um, here. Mm. So I think the Tamron is probably in between those lenses. Um, so let's get to unboxing these devices, see what's in, in them. And then, you know, I've already actually done a, a video reviewing the actual software of the Sigma USB dock. So you may want to check that out because basically I taught you through what I did to do a firmware update and, and show you briefly the customizations you can do on that lens. Um, I'll bring to you another video about the Tamron dock. I think, uh, well, it's not a dock, is it? They call it a tapping console. But essentially, they're the same thing. A USB device you put on, on your lens, connect it to your computer, and download any firmware updates or modifications you want to do to your lens. So without further ado, let's unbox these boxes and see what's in the boxes. Okay, so... Obviously the Sigma dock comes with three years warranty and the Tamron comes with five years warranty. So let's just have a look what we've got in the box with the Sigma box. Let's open it up, see what we've got in here. So we've got the usual thing, things such as Sigma European Limited Warranty, uh, USB dock instructions, the uh, warranty card, and then obviously that's the Sigma dock. Just take it out of here and so you can have a look at it. So that's the Sigma USB dock. Essentially it's um, got a USB connector there. Um, it's very similar to a lens and you just attach that to the back of your camera. Comes with a cable which is your USB cable. Just get that out of the packaging so you can have a look at it. Essentially, that's the USB cable that you get with it. And I think that's basically it. Nothing much spectacular about it. A box and a device. So that's the uh, USB dock, as Sigma call it. Let's have a look what's in the Tamron box. They call it the uh, tapping console. So we just open that up, see what's in there. Let's move the various bits of the Sigma over there. So in here probably the same sort of things that you get the instruction details warranty details uh, let's just have a look in this bag see what we've got here in this bag uh, a serial sticker <coughs> Tamron tapping console manual um, various other bits of documentation um, health and safety documentation about using it I suppose um, and then we can just open up what we've got here which is the device in this packaging 
Um, obviously, it's uh, it's a little bit different to the Sigma Dock. Uh, Tamron for Canon. USB connector there. It attaches very much in the same way um, as the Sigma Dock. Um, it's flat at the bottom. Um, there's not much to it really, as you can see. Let's have a look what else we've got in the box. As there should be something else in there. Right, took a bit. That was quite difficult to get out. <laughs> Here we get. Here we have the USB cable. Um, this is a standard, different type of connector to the uh, to the Sigma, but nevertheless, it should fit. No major problems. Um, so essentially, that's the tapping console, and that's the Sigma dock, and that's more or less just to show you what comes in the box. Um, and I'll just show you how to connect it to your lens. So, all you do is you get hold of your lens, tear that off, put it on just as you would um, a lens, clicks in place and that's in place and that's on. Let's do that with the Sigma, so we just get the, the, cam the uh, lens out, just attach it, look for a, a red dot. Line it up, it's on there, and that's on securely, and then you obviously just connect your cable to it and connect it to your computer. But I just wanted to briefly briefly show you what's included in these boxes so you, you know what's in them. Um and, and we'll look at the software in another video, but I just wanted to briefly show you how it goes on, show you how it looks on the lens. That's how it looks on the actual lens itself. Um, same being true of the Sigma because it's completely flat though you could actually leave it on the, the end like that I wonder if you can do that with a Tamron yeah you can you can leave it stood up like that if you want to um, but there's a lot of weight on going on to that so it might not be a good idea maybe the best thing to do is just leave it like that um, sitting up I don't know if you can see that in the video there you go um, yeah so that's what's in the Tamron tapping console and the Sigma Dock um, hopefully this was a bit informative what's in the boxes I know it's not that informative um, and we'll start looking at image quality in another video as well so I'll just keep keep tuned for that, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you can um, then you'll be notified whenever new new videos get uploaded and uh, you'll be one of the first people to see it alright, thanks for your time, bye bye